Okay, so getting started, I use a science tool curling wand. Um, it is from Sally's Beauty Supply, I believe. And I use the one inch, um, like flat one. Uh, they came with three, mine came with three interchangeable uh, sizes. So I have that one, and then I have this one. And then I have this one. If you have thicker hair, I would probably section it off. I do not have very thick hair, um, so I don't section mine. But if you do have bangs, I would go ahead and put them up. I always do my bangs last. Um, I usually put them over to the opposite, this side, because this side of my hair is super thin so I don't have to worry about getting it mixed in. I like having bigger sections of hair. I mean, they usually, from videos I watch, yes, I watch a lot of hair tutorial videos um, and like read a lot of articles about hair, <laughs> but um, they usually say take one inch, of like about an inch um, width of hair. Um, and I, do usually do that. I think this is perfect. I don't know. I kind of just take a glob and if I feel like it is going to be good, then I use it. So I always start on the side where my bangs are. Um, maybe it's because this side of my hair is thicker because I have bad cowlick. So this side of my hair is way thicker than this side. Um, and then I put mine on the high setting. There's a low and a high. Okay, so starting out, I usually start my um, first one curling over. Um, sometimes towards the end, I'll start to twist just because if you leave it flat with this iron, it makes it more square. So I twist over like that. And then I usually leave it on for about the first one, I guess, for like, what, 10, 15 seconds. And then, let it go. And what I love about the wand is that it curls so fast. And even if you have a lot of hair, it curls fast. Okay, then for my next piece, I'm going to go the opposite way. So last time I went over like this, but this time I'm gonna go opposite way and I usually do every other because um, then your curls don't all go the same way and kind of you know curl all together so then it gives you more volume kind of in your hair there we go so now I'm going to go this way um, like I said I like to twist the ends um, I just feel like it works better. Okay, so first of all, as you can tell, I really like talking while I am curling my hair. But also, whenever you start getting to the back, you don't really need to worry about going um, over and under and back and forth like I did before in the front of my hair. I like doing it more just in the front just because I feel like it gives me more volume um, around my face and gives me a better shape. When you get to the back, it really doesn't matter which way you go. Okay, so the hair is done. Um, all I have, I have left to do now is my bangs. Now, <laughs> if, I don't know, bangs are like so hard to do and it really just depends on if you're wanting to wear them down or up. So if you want to wear your bangs down, then I would probably curl them with either um, a big curling iron or a straightener because it'll give it a better um, flip curl to blend in with your hair but if you really don't care or you just want to um, wear your bangs up then I would just go ahead and use the wand I usually you always curl them towards your head and I think the problem is just that I have so many layers um, so you kind of have to do it a couple times so you can get all the layers in and then sometimes it um, like it obviously looks bad whenever you first do it. You just kind of have to curl it a couple times over and over. And I mean, it'll look fine. You just have to get it, you know, just right. <laughs> but it definitely, I'm not very good at getting them to actually look good with my hair. 
hey, that one actually didn't turn out as bad as I thought it would. But I just like to either, like, if I'm going to have my bangs down, I like them to kind of come across my face. And that's what I don't know how to do with uh, the one. Or I just like them completely, like, pulled back. I usually like to braid my bangs. I just love braiding in general. Um, like a French braid. I don't know if you guys ever French braid your bangs, but I will show you how to if you don't know. Or just French braid in general. So I take a small piece up at the top and then split it in three. And then you start to braid. Of course, right? And then you start taking little bitty sections from the rest of your bangs. And depending on like how thick you want your braid, or, or I mean how tight you want it, or even how long you want it, it kind of just depends then on like how much hair you take, or that will determine on how much you take. Okay, so I am officially done curling my hair and putting in my braid. Um, one last thing before I am officially done, I like to use this um, short and sexy hair. I don't know if you've ever used that before, um, but it is called Play Dirty and it's two shine and five hold. The old can is really all you need to know. Um, and it's like, it is hairspray, but it's more like texturizing hairspray, which is, I think is really good for curls, especially if um, sometimes they do fall out, you can kind of help make redo the curl again um so i just kind of do a little bit <coughs> oh gosh i <laughs> just didn't help it um i don't do a whole lot though because i just don't really like hairspray in general i really never use it okay And there we go. Okay, so this is the official finished product of the hair. What do you think? So I hope you enjoyed it. I know I didn't have that many tips or anything. I'm not very good with tips. Um, I'm just not really good with hair in general. I know how to do my hair and I think doing hair is so much fun but I'm not that good. Um, but still, I hope you guys enjoyed it and definitely comment below and tell me what you think of it. And also comment below and tell me um, more things you guys want to see. I'm really glad some of you guys suggested doing a hair tutorial. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.